Hello and welcome to episode 18 of the series. In the last episode, we strengthened our defenses by installing these bad boys, the missile launchers. Along with these defensive fortifications, the camp is running really well and all the activities are being taken care of to the best of our capability and availability. Remember that we are running with one survivor less. We are running with just five survivors. So the priorities are set based on mid to end game scenario, which we currently are in. So let's keep going. The couple of things which we want to do to start at the beginning, we want to set the control circuits. So this one will go to six and this one will go to, sorry, not the target area. This one will go to seven. So this missile launcher will work in tandem with these missiles or with these machine guns. And this one will work in tandem with these sensors and machine guns. Let's activate construction for a couple more. Another thing of worry is that we are almost nearing the end of our shelf life. Not the shelf life, but the battery repository. Mm, which means we might have to deactivate these real quick. So Samantha, if you can just do the honors, please. And if I do a shift, would you mind doing that one as well? So now at least we are saving some consumption. And this is happening because of this extreme heat wave. So these wind turbines, they are not working at the time. We have high consumption and less production. But now it's daytime, so I suppose our solar panels will start to generate. Yes, so we have a positive of 172, but we have a deficit of around 8000 electricity in our batteries. And maybe that basically means that we need another battery as well. Let's do that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. We are having a chasing game with ore and scrap metals and the crafting of our metal alloys. So metal alloys are getting crafted real fast. As soon as we get some raw materials, the metal alloys are getting constructed or crafted. So that is fantastic for us. Good to have such a supply chain. It's just that it puts another pressure on our mining capabilities and that's fine. Samantha is researching incendiary traps and right after that she will be researching the orbital radio which will trigger our end game. Woohoo! So close. So close to the end. Oh sorry, to the end game. <laughs> right. So this is the trail of attack which happened in the last episode. Another trail here and I'm anticipating that the attacks will become more vicious as we go forward. As you can see the furnaces are taken care of as soon as there's a raw material which means we are having a continuous supply of cement and metal alloys. The count is zero and that's because we are constructing a lot. So Quinn is mining ore. Fantastic. Good job, mate. And Ken has been helping with his scavenging, but we are not having much luck with the scavenging. I would have preferred to get some scrap material or some electronics. Let's say power cells. That would be awesome. Those are the things which will save time for us or will enable us to do a lot of things. So we are at a negative of 228, which means we will be running out of supply in three hours. Hopefully we'll have a sunrise by that time. And I really wish this extreme heat wave would, would go away now <laughs> and let our wind turbines generate some electricity. I'm not too sure if these carbon wind turbines 
do they have such impact they would have because there's no wind basically so i don't think having this one installed will make any difference we might want to get another generator or one generator for us hmm just in case if we run out of battery we need an emergency supply but again it won't be sufficient yeah the generation is not as good we we'll might need like a farm of generators just to keep the supply running if let's say we get attacked from all the directions solar flare fantastic all happening at once extreme heat wave solar flare why not send an attack on us right now just to make things very interesting crafting is going well Quinn is just sleeping during the day, working through the night. Ken is going back to scavenging. We want to see what's happening. He's tired and it's a bit hot around here. So for tired, I think he should go back to sleep. No point working and then going into a meltdown. We seriously need some ore, and I think Quinn is on the case. Yep, he's going to mine some for us. And the scavenging again. Oh my god, it's been such a disastrous scavenging. We are getting things which we don't need. The incendiary traps have been researched, which means orbital radios are getting researched now tacky and source absolutely we are most curious good 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 ah oh, look at these machines they are all gone to dogs with solar flares hmm just don't attack us at this time ah oh, the wind turbines are back good 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 and you can see our batteries are getting charged again fantastic so next morning maybe the first thing we can do is go for the expedition for the tachyon source and if we can get a meteor rain from that expedition then that will be fantastic we need ore close to our camp we have exhausted all the all the deposits which are near to us that's something which probably can be added to the game to like have a mine let's say close to the camp somewhere here so that we can get a good supply of ore as long as we can mine it and not depend on these meteor showers okay ken and quinn you are constructing turret okay construct the turret and then we are going for the expedition right So this is another missile launcher which will be connected to this part of our base scavenged <laughs> come on dude constructing battery nah we'll go for the expedition first Ta -da -ta -da. Ta -da. this one when send close let's go mr quinn let's go The wind turbines are back our batteries are fully charged plus 800 so once we have this battery constructed we will have 10,000 volt of electricity so when these solar flares happen then the traps are our only way of defending our camp and that's why we have been investing heavily in these traps expedition complete learn this 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 and this oh mate learn crafting come back yeah <laughs> the rng has not been kind to us <laughs> scavenge 70 finally finally some scavenging of scrap metal good about to rot away 40 don't 
care. We are having so much of pre-delivery of insect meat, yeah, that we can take it for granted for now. <laughs> Umar is making sure that we have enough of everything crafted. 69 fuel. Come on, solar flares. Enough. Go away. <laughs> we really need these turrets up and running. I'm so scared. Okay, so this one is constructed and we can set it up with circuit 5. And with that, we can enable construction of this one. Good. Risk of meltdown for Ken. What happened, mate? You are hungry. You are unrelaxed. Just follow the schedule. Maybe, you know what, I'll just add relaxation to the last hour of the day before you go for sleep. I think that, that will be better. With anything, they I prefer to work, which works for us in a way, that we are getting one hour of extra work. But yeah, when it becomes a day-to-day -day manual management of happiness, then yeah, I would prefer them to relax by themselves rather than me clicking all those buttons. Folks are having their meal, all greens, fantastic. And drunk, <laughs> drunk with coffee. Okay, I don't know. It might just be a coincidence that the two pop-ups came at the same time. Malfunction battery, and here it is. I mean, yeah, the malfunctioning requires a bit of a tweak from our developers, from our good developers. Good, scavenged scrap metal and Quinn is mining ore, so we are providing as much raw material as we can. And as you can see, again, Quinn has been mining ore, but we won't find much ore remaining because everything is used for construction. We are constructing another battery. Oh, that one is gone just for the maintenance, okay? So it's not just the construction time, it's also our electronics and other resources. Which are gone when we maintain or repair. Good. What's our cotton? The cloth. We have 1200 cloth. And if you see, this is storage is all about cloth so what i'm thinking is maybe it's time for us to reduce the field of or the farm size of cloth blossom field so we can reduce the field and we'll say that let's go with with two yeah with two rows or two columns of cloth blossom we'll get rid of this one similarly for our smoke leaf how much do we have? 575. Maybe we can get rid of one column of a smoke leaf. So just looking for any optimizations that we can bring into our handling time or any, any kind of time, planting time, harvesting time, any of it. Each of these Optimizations will go a long way in long run. So the earlier we do them, the better it is. And I'm just thinking that maybe we don't need so many furnaces. And we can probably shut down one of each furnaces. So maybe this one doesn't need to be refueled. And this one doesn't need to be refueled. So with that, we are left with two furnaces each for metal alloys and for cement and which is good enough i'm not deconstructing these furnaces i don't know why <laughs> but yeah i prefer to not deconstruct unless absolutely necessary but what we have done is we have rejected or cancelled out the refueling of these furnaces which means that there will be no handling time involved and these furnaces won't be used once they consume the fuel which they already have 
So again, small optimization in terms of handling, in terms of materials. And we'll see how it goes. So these two, they both have all the materials they need for construction. I think all they need is Quinn. Yeah, fantastic. So Quinn will construct this turret first and then he will come and construct this battery and we will be all good. This generator, I will turn it off. And this one, we need to put it on circuit eight along with all these guys. So maybe Quinn, if you can handle this as well while you're there, fantastic. No wastage of electricity at all. Everything is connected to these sensors, which is fantastic. Umair is doing well. Quinn, I hope you are mining more ore. Because that's what we need right now. Yep. And as you can see, they're so far off. Oh my god. The traveling time in itself is brutal. Risk of meltdown for Ken. Again, again, despite of giving you a dedicated additional relaxing hour, Ken, you still can't manage your time. Yeah? And you're going for. Come on, mate. So 8 o'clock, it's time to do anything and the next hour slot is for relaxing. And when we plan for anything, while you are at a risk of meltdown, you plan to do salvaging. Fantastic. Good logic. Excellent. Let's go and sleep. These are small tweaks which when improved upon in the game. They will make a huge difference in our experience. Do we need to go for the hunting? Looking good. Do we have any other site for ore mining? Anything close by? What is this? Rock. Okay. Yeah, these are the closest, so anything further off will take more time. We have a few clusters, few deposits here, and they are huge deposits of ore. The only challenge is how much time will it take for them to travel till here. But again, I'll mine, I'll basically mark it for mining, just in case if we find time and if we can do this. So ore deposit, mine, why not? And music night. A good idea. Let's gather and dance at 19 hours. Go for it, Mr. Romaya. Pass on the message. We have some silicon deposit. 136, yeah. And we are constantly farming more near our camp. Harvesting, here you go. So yeah, so we can basically take that load off from mining. Again, small optimizations and hopefully they will help us in the long run. Okay. Defensively, I'm thinking that we need more turrets. If we want to have a fully automated defense. And another thing could be that we go for an expedition. So Mr. Ken, what are you doing? You are going for salvaging, okay? And Quinn is going to sleep, okay? So Quinn, once you wake up, we'll go for an expedition. And in the meantime, I will place a couple of turrets from defense perspective. So machine guns, again, just going back to these turrets, this laser is useless. It takes so much time to do any damage that it's literally worthless. It consumes the most electricity and for me, it is the most worthless of the three options. Missile launchers are very fantastic. Machine guns are fantastic. 
Although we, I would love to have an upgraded version of these machine guns, but that's fine. So I think, yeah, while I was speaking, <laughs> that day passed by and we'll go for the expedition tomorrow. And yeah, this could be one more turret to be installed. So I'll not place many as of now, because what I am believing is that the attacks they become complicated when they see the number of turrets whether they are constructed or not so i'll go with one placement of turret at a time just to see if that theory is right or not so guys are having some good time don't worry guys we have not missed much <laughs> their music quest is good for them only no rock or classic or anything going on there. Just random notes. I suppose we can look for some dromedars and mark them for hunting. These are pretty close. We can find one towards this side that will be awesome uh aggressive animals 51 flyers and 15 brute force okay wow this is awesome now i'm just thinking should we take charge on these or should we wait for uh, them to attack us hmm maybe we'll wait for them to attack us the only thing is, we will move all our survivors uh, under the shade. Spaceship junk, a large burning object, blah blah blah, anything salvageable will perish in following days. Okay. Understood. So like Ken, he is going for salvaging. I would probably ask him to go for the expedition. So here, spaceship, spaceship, cruise, spaceship, military. Hmm. Let's go for the exploration. Can send close. Okay. Quinn is constructing the turret. Samantha is in the line of fire because she's trying to harvest these things. Maybe enough. Yeah. Yeah. Samantha, enough, mate. Let's go inside before we get into line of attack. Why don't you do some research? Okay. Currently unable to because. I don't know why. Okay. Then you stand here. Same thing with you, Rita. Don't plant anything. Maybe just cook something. Go for it. Quinn is constructing the turret. Solar eclipse. Oh, okay. Solar eclipse, which means <laughs> I got scared. So which means uh, just the solar panel will not work. Okay. Quinn, would you mind going back please? Yep, let's do that. And as you can see, these guys are attacking our survivors who are out in the wild. Ooh. Wow. Look at that. Easy. Seems very easy. Okay, easily done. And these guys are not in range of anything. So we'll ask Samantha, who has quick firing weapon, to attack them. Come on, attack, attack, attack. Come here. Andra, okay. And then Samantha, can you hunt these guys? Please. Another thing, these missile launchers. Let's see them in action right here. And this one, we ask them to hit here. Good. Destroyed wooden power pole. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Something happened. Okay, Samantha. You were supposed to hunt these guys. Come on. Oh, 
all done okay then you go for dark stand here for some time don't run here and there or maybe yeah hit from here good this is better so many miss oh my god oh this is crazy Quinn my friend would you mind helping us oh finally come on new expedition site found i detected one of the ship's data storage devices these small modules contain bits of the ship's memory flight logs you crew profiles personal emails and whatsoever go there immediately mr ken oh just finish it off yes okay unlock anyone else blocked it unlock good wow it was a massive attack let's do a stock take of what has happened so we have completed an expedition data core a large quads like column with a broken terminal was emitting dying dim light i quickly figured out that this was part of the ship's library and accessed the emergency survival encyclopedia i had already collected some notes when the data core went dark for good unlocks one new breakthrough for research okay absolutely why not good 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 improved railgun snipers fantastic fantastic let me put them in the queue straight away da -da 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 -da. improved fantastic this is good new research umaya reached healing level 2 all good wooden power pole which one was destroyed this one okay so this will be taken care as part of repairs unpowered devices because of solar eclipse or uh, because of the power pole going down there are 12 damaged structures there are two injuries five damaged devices wow <laughs> this has been a nightmarish attack for us <laughs> okay i'll keep on most of these alerts because we really want to make sure that nothing is missed most of these things will be taken care of by themselves but i want to make sure that they are and in timely manner as well but yeah this is what i wanted going to repair this power pole first so that two of the alerts will go away omaya reaching healing level three is good free meat please and this one and no no not these long tailed reptiles yeah oh good most of these are taken care of damaged structures are our walls mostly or the fortifications and Quinn will make sure that they are also repaired in time risk of meltdown for Quinn I know mate you had a lot of work going on and you have been pretty poor in terms of managing your time so Oh man, such an irritating person to take care of. Go, go, go. Have a food. Why did you go for mining when you were hungry? Come on. Should have had your food first, mate. And what's happening with the schedule? It's your sleeping time. these bright colored fences this is where the attack happened or these are the damages which need to be repaired good 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 a bit too many alerts but we have taken care of most of them which is nice awesome efficiency from our folks and another validation that our priorities and scheduling are going well priorities are going well scheduling goes out of the window because of mr quinn and ken not able to follow the schedule quinn is repairing wall as we anticipated fantastic so we are running short of a stone so maybe we'll put another mining site for stones and this looks like a good site 
Rocks mine. Rock chunk mine. And we are running short of a stone because all the stone is being baked into cement. And as you will see, as we go forward, we'll need to keep working on our fortification. These farms, I will not care about in the end game. Not too much because we'll have different ways of solving the problem of cooking. Again, let's not go ahead of ourselves. Repairing wall, yes please, because the attacks could be frequent now. And while we have fended off one, the other one might be just in the waiting. Another good thing is, while these attacks are happening, this was a huge attack, yeah? So while this huge attack was happening, we were able to continue as normal, other than stopping our survivors to do stupid things. Ah, another attack. Once they start, they just go on. Oh my god, look at this one. Look at this one. Huge attack. So we have 21 bloated insects, 13 scorpions and 113 overgrown insects. And the thing is, these guys will attack us on both the sides. They will distribute themselves and attack us on both the sides of the camp, which in a way works for us, to be honest. I like, like it when they go on the both sides, when they go on both sides of the camp. I would appreciate that if they can do it. Okay, so Mr. Ken, not a good time to salvage, mate. Because these guys will start chasing you straight away. Okay, so maybe watch the time. 18 hours. Go for sleep and have an early morning. And then we will see what to do. Maybe we'll go for another expedition or something. Good job, Mr. Quinn. Repairing fence. But not the most important fence which I care about. So all good. The attack would start any minute now. Here it is. The Quinn. Mm, maybe not the best idea, mate. What's your happiness level? You are tired, dark, so wet. So let's go for sleep, mate. Sleep, yeah. Better. Let's speed up to 2x and see what happens with this attack. Yeah, this is a good place for us to attack from the missile launcher. This one as well. Fantastic. Nicely done. Ooh. My god. And the other attack is happening from this side. And maybe we'll place this one here. And this one somewhere. Again, probably at the same area. Mm, maybe somewhere here. Yeah. Cool. Let's go, let's go. It's, it's brutal. <laughs> All done. Just one more remaining. Oh, look at that missile. <laughs> no chance. No chance for these animals to do any damage to us. Wow. Fantastic. Ah, I'm I'm believing a lot in our defense now. And especially after these missile launchers have joined us. These are pretty bad boys. And as we can see. We need more missile launchers because these attacks are only going to become more and more vicious and difficult to manage. Good scavenging. This is beautiful scavenging. Thank you, Mr. Ken. Rot it away is fine. Don't care. Just put them in freezer if you can. Quinn is still sleeping. He had an early night and he's still sleeping. <laughs> Nineteen liquid fuel, Mr. Umayyad. We might need some help there, mate. What are you doing? Where are you? 
Your handling trap. Oh, yes. That's a good job, mate. Each and every part of our defensive system is being challenged. And maybe time to add some more traps. I will not take any risk with these traps. I will take as many as we want. Hundred and nine. Fantastic scavenging again. Good, good, good. And since this is just the next day of attack, I will not send our guys for the expedition. We want our home to be in order and prepared for the next one. Animal meat, insect meat is running low, but we have a huge supply right at our doorstep. So five aggressive bloated insects. Yep, let's go with them. They will give us a lot of fat. Insect fat. Good, good, good. One thing I wanted to check these guys. Yes. Okay. That's what I was thinking that I was not seeing two rockets launching from this side. So that's because this one is not connected to power source. Should, there should be a red sign or something like that. Like should be a visual indicator that, you know, I'm here, but I'm not doing anything. Small problem to take care of. All good. We are having some falling spaceship debris. Don't care for now. We have enough to take care of. The batteries are all good. We have 10,000 volts of electricity in storage. Fantastic. Oh my goodness. Another attack? Really? <laughs> What's happening? Wow. This is like third attack in three days. Where are you now? Oh, 22 bloated insects, 9 huge mantis, and 139 overgrown insects. My goodness. Okay. Let's be as ready as we can. Uh, this and this. This will be a good area for us to protect with missile launchers. And rest all will depend on how quickly these missile turrets or these turrets, machine guns, can get rid of these animals. The good part about this area is that none of our survivors are out in the open on this side. And that makes it much easier to manage. Ugh. Look at this trail of insects and all this waste around our camp. My goodness. And the attack starts. Huge attack yet again. And let's see how our defenses work up. The only thing I'm worried about is electricity, but we have enough in storage to fend off this attack. Good, good, good. Let's get going, guys. Nicely done. And here comes a missile launcher. Turrets are up and running. Ooh, the second missile launcher joins the action and three more turrets are supporting us. These guys are trying to be smart going from the other side of our camp. But they don't know that there are much more vicious turrets and machine guns waiting them on that side. Please go. Please go to the other side. Please. I beg. Yeah, please. Come on. Follow the trail. Follow the trail, guys. Okay? Like this. And Quinn, my friend. Oh, 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 oh. So they are attracted towards our survivors. Maybe Samantha. Not a good time to be farming. Okay. Oh, and, 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 and. How do we get rid of this? Because this guy will add a lot of work for us. So I really want to get rid of this guy. So Mr. Umaya, if you can join us here. Oh, he's gone. Okay. No worries, Umaya. Enjoy. Enjoy life. I think he got attracted. That insect got attracted towards Samantha because she was working in the farm. 
and it wanted to attack the survivor because that's what they are programmed for. And here it is, yet again. No sweat lost. And a huge attack being taken care of. My god, this episode is awesome. I'm loving it. Three huge attacks in literally four days. And look at our camp. It looks like a resting site for insects. My god. Look at that. The next day of attack, I prefer for all the survivors to be at home and help with getting the base back together. So no expedition yet again. We can't have everything, right? Yep. Scavenge 111. Fantastic. So maybe some more flaps on this side, please. Flaps. And here we go. How many? 255. A bit too much. Yep. This looks nice. Protecting this central area first, although the more effective placement would have been this area for traps. But let's let's have our base being protected before we go for optimizations. So basics. Let's go for basics first. Good free supply of meat. And that's animal meat, which is awesome. These two defensive walls have to be constructed. And when you get a minute, Mr. Quinn, just get this turret up and running, please. Batteries are fully charged. Good job. So Mr. Quinn is going with shortest job first. So he is going with all the traps first. And once he's done with them, then he will come back to this turret. And with that, I think we have reached the end of this episode. I hope you are enjoying this walkthrough because I certainly am. Very exciting time for our camp. We are getting attacked left, right and center. The first five days there were no attacks and the next five days we got attacked three or four times. And a huge volume of animals attacking us. So I hope this excitement continues and if you like what you see then please drop a like and subscribe to the channel and please share your feedback using comments. Keep safe and game on folks.